Can we just admit that humanity is a failed project? We failed. And this reminds me of a scene from Bob's Beggars. We failed. We failed at everything. We failed at marriage. We failed at love. We failed at equality. We failed at connecting with one another. We failed at understanding one another. Our ancestors were failures. Our children are failures. Our children's children will be failures. We failed. That is the truth. I know that it's hard to admit that we failed, but that is the truth. The truth is that we failed as a society. We are not doing good at all. Just because we are alive and there's too many of us in this planet does not mean that we are winning. It does not mean that we are succeeding. It doesn't mean that we are fulfilling our purpose. You see, we have given us life's purpose. We have given our lives meaning. But are we fulfilling this purpose? Are we able to live meaningful lives? Are we happy? Are we enjoying ourselves? Because the point of this is not being alive. The point of this is being happy. Right? There's a reason why people are afraid of hell. You see, if the point of this was just being alive, people wouldn't be afraid of hell because they are promised that they will be there for eternity. So they'll be like, ah, oh, good. No, no, no. What people want is to be happy. They don't just want to be alive and be miserable. So what I'm saying to you is that we failed because people are miserable. So really, just because we are alive, <laughs> this reminds me of uh, this interview. 50 Cent was being interviewed and he was asked to say one positive thing about Jaru. And he said, he's alive. <laughs> You know, we think that that's a positive thing. It's not. It's like being married. When you're married for, when you've been married for many years, you think uh, your marriage was successful because you've been married for many years. But most people who have been married for many years we're very, very miserable. People confuse longevity in marriage with success in marriage. No, it's not success. Not even close. It's just years of misery. <laughs> so, no. Just because we're alive does not mean that we're doing good. Doesn't mean that we're doing something right. Survival has been made easy, but are we happy? Are we enjoying ourselves? Are we having a positive experience? Are we smart? Are we making the decisions that we should be making as a collective? Or, when we look at the way that we're doing things, we feel disappointed. Because I'm not going to lie to you, when I look at humanity, I feel completely disappointed. You know, I'm completely disappointed in humanity. We're not doing good at all, man. We're just lying to ourselves every single day. <laughs> Telling ourselves that things are going to be okay. No, 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 no. If things were, were going to be okay, this is the time. You see? This is the time when we actually do have everything that we want as a collective. There's no reason for people to be in poverty now. <laughs> you have to understand that. If really what we wanted as a collective was for people to actually be equal, it will be possible. You have to understand that no one is preventing us from loving one another, from connecting with one another from treating 
each other equally. No, no one is preventing us from doing that. We are the ones that are preventing ourselves from doing that. That's something that you must get. Every problem that we're dealing with is our fault as a collective. And we're so good at making things someone else's fault. Oh, it's the devil. The devil, this is... Come on, man. Fuck. The devil? Really? It's us. Alright? People are not possessed by demons. People are just dumb. They have a project. They cannot do better than they are doing. They cannot do better than that doing, man. Things are only going to get worse because you can see that here in South Africa, for an example, people who are rich are getting richer. People that are poor are getting poorer. Why? Because the system has been designed that way. You know, there are people who are set out to fail. They can't, they can't make it in this world. There's low shedding in my country. If you don't have money to buy a solar, you will have to deal with load shedding. Your businesses are going to fail because of load shedding. See, the ones, the people that have money are the ones that are going to succeed because they will still be able to run their businesses. You know, these are the people that will still be able to run their businesses. So load shedding is not really going to affect them. I mean, come on, man. Let's be real. Suffering is inevitable. And people are not going to be suffering because they're making bad decisions in their lives. They will be suffering because there are people with power that will be making bad decisions that are putting them in situations where they suffer. And what's messed up is that the people that are suffering now, if they found themselves at the top, they will do the same thing. Now, I've communicated with a lot of people and actually realized that they are not woke enough to realize what we need to do as a collective. So if they were at the top, they would do the same things that the people that are at the top are doing. So let's just admit it. We are, we, we are a failed project and there's nothing that we'll be able to do. We're just going to suffer and suffer and suffer and cause suffering for other people, even for people that are innocent, even for the people that are actually intelligent, that actually know what should be done. People with solutions, people that are full of compassion, people that are full of love, the people that want to do the right thing. They will have to suffer because we're idiots. <laughs> Come on, man. There's absolutely nothing that we'll be able to do as a society. It, it's only going to become worse from here. You know, we've reached a point where we did have a choice to make as a collective. Whether we we're going to make things better for ourselves and others or be greedy. And we chose greed. We chose suffering. You know, we chose to have more power than others. And that's the reason why we are dealing with what we are dealing with today as a collective. And the future generations will deal with what we are dealing with. This isn't anything to be proud of. This is something that we must be preventing people from experiencing because it's not worth it. You know, we've reached a point in society where 
having this experience is not worth it at all because people are not doing good I mean how long has humanity suffered humanity suffered from the beginning but it's understandable because it was suffering because there was no other way but now why are we suffering why are there still homeless people why are there still people that are set up to fail Why are there still people that can afford medication? People that are really, really sick that need real medication that cannot afford it. Why are people who are working very, very hard still poor? Why do we still have slaves? Why are people still killing each other? Because there's absolutely no reason for people to be killing each other, but they're still doing that. Shulin, that tell us something. Why are humans still racist? Black people are racist, white people are racist. Doesn't that tell us something? People still get discriminated against for no reason, for how they look, for their skin color. And we think we are doing good as a society. No, bad. We are really, really doing bad. And at this point, if we do not acknowledge the fact that we are incapable of creating a better world, the people that are going to come here are going to suffer way more than we have suffered. As you can see, that things are only becoming worse. Not, you know, people can say that you choose to see the negatives in society. You're not choosing to see the positive aspect of life. You are only choosing to see the negative aspect of life. You see, the problem is... Just because you choose to ignore something does not mean that it's not going to affect you. There are lots of negative things that are happening that are going to affect people. You know, that's why I made this choice a long time ago that no way, there's no way that I'm going to bring another being to come and experience this because it's completely not worth it. I was brought here because my parents weren't aware of what was really going on. But I am aware. If I brought someone here, it will mean that I'm just evil. It's not because I'm ignorant. I'm just straight up evil and selfish. No, at this point, it will be self. It, it will, it will, I will be doing that out of selfishness. So I'm really, really happy that I experienced things that allowed me to wake up. Things that unlocked my mind. Because I would still be thinking like an idiot if I didn't experience these things that uh, unlocked my mind. That made me uh, see things as they really are. Because it's not easy to see things as they really are if you are being lied to. If people are just trying to make money by lying to people. Because people who are making money are only looking at what really makes money they're not looking at what's really going to make society better it's just looking at what's going to make them the most money 
So when they realize, okay, this is what's going to make me the most money. This is what I'm going to push because I'll be able to make money doing this. Even if it means that I keep people ignorant. Even if it means that I prevent people from waking up. As long as I'm making money, that's cool. The people that are making the most money in our society are the people that are only trying to make money regardless of how their actions are impacting our society. They don't care about that. They only care about making money. That's like if I had a restaurant where I was serving different kinds of food and I knew that people like junk food, junk food because it's addictive and I started to make it more addictive by adding different sources that make this food addictive. Knowing them well that it's not good for their health. That's what uh, the people that are making money in our society do. Dude, I've never been here before. Because, ah, uh, is there water there? Damn, man, how am I going to crawl? This re uh, the, okay okay I think I know how I'm going across, but it's not gonna be easy. It's not gonna be easy. But it's possible though. No, this is easy. Easy, easy, easy. Yeah, man, our society. It's nothing to be proud of, man. We are a failed project. And the longer we do this, the harder things are going to be for us. Ah! Ooh, I'm at the top now. Yeah, the longer we do do this, the harder things are going to be for us, man. We shouldn't remain ignorant, you know. We've been through a lot to still be ignorant as a society. We need to genuinely seek for truth. We need to have honest conversations about the things that are going on. We don't need to always be positive because that's what we've been told. You know, we've been told that we must always be positive. No, man. Sometimes being positive is a negative thing because it's not helping. Sometimes people just have to acknowledge what's really going on. Sometimes people just have to accept the truth and make the right decisions because if you are not acknowledging the truth, if you're not accepting the truth, then you're not going to make the right decisions. Because the decisions that will be, you will be making will be based on a lie, you see, on a lie that you believe to be true. For example, if you believe that we're having a positive experience, you're going to have children and those children are going to suffer because of you. And when we tell you the truth, you lie and say we're just miserable. No, man. We just see things as they are. And we're not afraid to see things as they are. Because we know that 
things are already too messed up for people to keep on lying to themselves. Society has to take the red pill. There's no other way. Things are way too messed up for people to keep on lying to themselves. You know? Ah, oh, man. My shoes. A dairy. But that's how I like it. <laughs> oh, who said it? Just the day J. Cole. He said my sneakers are dirty, but that's how I like it. <clears throat> Yo, I'm glad that I'm now able to see what's really going on in this world, man. It's not easy to wake up. When I try to think of how I used to think when I was a bit younger I realize how hard it is to wake up you know sometimes I don't blame people that are not waking up or not waking up because I see how hard it is like you don't just wake up man the right things has to, the right things have to happen for you to wake up you don't just wake up the right things have to happen to put the desire in you to wake up because once the desire is there you start doing what you need to do to wake up to see things as they are you start looking for the truth without someone telling you to look for the truth you just look for the truth yourself because you have the desire for truth you are tired of the bullshit you don't want to be manipulated anymore you see But the right things have to happen to put your mind in the right state. And when you find the truth, you're no longer going to reject it. You're no longer going to... feel depressed. <laughs> I look at... truth the same way I look at Infinity Stones in, in, in the uh, Avenger movies. If you are not strong enough, you won't be able to handle the truth. It's going to kill you. But when you are really ready for it, you will be able to handle it and it's going to make you more powerful. You see? It's not really going to make you weaker. It, you're only going to feel weak when you are absorbing the truth but after absorbing the truth you become powerful because that's what you need you need the truth you don't need to uh, continue to believe a lie this lie is not taking you where you want it to take you it's just going to make things worse So, if you are waking up, that is a good thing. It's hard, it's hard to wake up, I'm not going to lie to you. Waking up is super, super hard. I remember how I was feeling in 2018 when I was like really waking up. I couldn't believe how I was feeling, man. I still can't believe how I was feeling. Like, I, I still can't believe that it's possible to feel the way that I was feeling in 2018. There was so much pain, dude. I couldn't sit down in one place. When I say I couldn't sit down in one place, I'm not exaggerating. Like, I was in so much pain that I was unable to sit down in one place. Like, I always had to be moving, always had to be doing something. And I couldn't sleep. I will only maybe fall asleep for like one minute and wake up because I'll be having nightmares. Sure. And I'll wake up at 5 a.m. and start walking. <laughs> Dude. I can't believe that I went through that. But now I understand what's really going on here. And... 
because of that I'm becoming more and more free you know I've realized that I shouldn't care no I keep on telling people that you should not give a fuck like you should give zero fucks all right you see the only the only way that this society is going to torture you is if you care you must not care about anything you must not care how other people see you what other people are doing how other people think because sometimes people make themselves care because they when someone ignorant say some fucked up shit like yeah, yeah look look at what this person has said i'm angry because this person has said it no no man, she must, must not give a fuck there's no <laughs> there's no need for you to feel angry you already know what the truth is you're already on the right path why should you be angry if someone posts on facebook that um they think veganism is wrong or they make fun of vegans i'm cool i don't give a fuck because i already know the truth i don't have to feel the pain anymore because i've already felt it you see when i was waking up i felt a lot of pain why should i continue to feel that pain you see there's no need for me to be hurting now because i already know what the truth is you must not care man whenever you go through something that hurts you what you must work on is detaching yourself emotionally that's what you must do you mustn't find ways to justify your anger you know, there are people who even tell other people, yo, man, this is what happened to me. And you know, can you believe that this motherfucker did that? Like, no, man, let it go. Focus on feeling good. All right? No matter what. If you can't feel good, fine. Just focus on not feeling bad. Because it's not easy to feel good. I mean, really, being happy in this society has a lot to do with being ignorant. There's a reason why when we were younger, we used to be happy. We were very ignorant. We didn't know that the world was how it is. You see? We didn't know the truth about this world. So we were very, very ignorant. But now we know what's happening. And it's it's very surprising to us. Like, yo, this is, this is not the world that we had in mind. You know, we thought... Um, we're in a good world. We thought it mean we're in a world that actually makes sense, but this does not make any sense. What's what's really what's up, man? Is the kids are protected from the truth. So they think they're in a beautiful world. No, you're not. It's a lie. They lie. They lie to the kids, man. They even lie to adults. That's why some adults are happy. They're happy because they're not seeing what's really happening. They're not seeing how they're being manipulated. They're not seeing how their children are being manipulated. You see? Our society is not getting better at all. What we needed since the beginning was to be happy you know find ways to live with one another love one another understand one another connect with one another <laughs> that it's what we needed but do you think that's where we're going do you think we're going to connect more or people are becoming more and more selfish now it's cool to be selfish now I'm sure if you are honest with yourself I'm sure if you're honest with yourself you know that people are becoming more and more selfish relationships don't work anymore there's no trust and there shouldn't be trust because people suck you can't trust anyone 
in this world, man. People suck. People are just looking out for themselves now. It's not longer about other people. Maybe it has never been about other people. We just like to pretend as if it's about other people. We just like to pretend as if we are good, we are kind. We want to do what is right in this society. But nah. It's all a lie, man. It's all a lie. Thank you, guys.